everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pandu. Welcome back to another video. And of course, Chantal went live earlier and it is a two hour live stream. So if I skip around a little bit, sorry. Live dinner, get ready with me and grocery haul. So great. With that being said, I guess let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? No, it's just a rumor. Like this is our old bed. We haven't like gotten rid of it. I'm trying to figure out what to do with it, but it might be nice to have an extra bed just in case. Like we have people over, which never doesn't happen much, but it is cluttered. Yeah, <laughs> there's a couch, a bed, a, about five suitcases, a, a dresser, a wardrobe, a desk. By the way, wasn't this supposed to be the content room? Yeah, making a lot of a lot of content in that content room. Let me tell you. But this is my little corner. I at least kind of like. It was really messy before, so these this is kind of my corner, but I organized my dresser, my drawer, my one drawer. <laughs> you see? These are my face masks I never use. I put all my makeup down to one little bin, which I love. So I have dinner on the way. I haven't eaten anything yet today. So I'll have my first meal with you guys. I have some groceries coming. Items that were on sale. No, we do a mix of ordering and groceries. I know it's a hold on a second, guys. I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna get the fan. Give me two minutes, okay? That's better. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the grocery should be here sometime. He's in the room, Seals. Hello, babe. What's going on? It's almost midnight. I need to, like, get my sleep pattern. I don't know if I should just try to stay awake until tomorrow night. Because what I'd like to do is, like, I don't know, go to bed super early. But then, like, the daytime is so hot. But I guess, like, I guess I could, like, force myself to go to indoor places, like... I really wanted to hey sandy i'm not ha i don't have any plans on coming back to canada anytime soon i'm going to be traveling to other countries inshallah though but yeah i get my groceries delivered late because i knew like my sleep pattern i might be sleeping if they come during the day so babe did they say that they're coming yeah wolf pup like i don't know i know it looks like i don't brush her but i literally do i ordered two pieces of cheesecake did you get sweets no i ordered for dinner chicken 65 do you guys know what that is i really it's something i haven't tried since i mean like in canada i've never heard of it since like except for being here I don't even know what it is. It's like some kind of chicken, but it's really good. Even though you've never had it before yet, it's really good. Okay then. My Arabic? Oh no, I can do better. <laughs> I don't know why it's called 65. Babe, do you know, like, I don't know. It's like a red chicken. I ate all the broccoli I ordered in that. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what's gone from that grocery haul so far. The grape leaves, the pickles, and the broccoli. If she filmed that yesterday, it's been a whole 24 hours and all that's gone. That was what I had for dinner last night. It's simply because it was invented in the year 1965. Are you trolling, babe, or is that for real? <laughs> that's so. That's such a lazy way to name a dish. Just name it after the year. I'm gonna make chicken 1984. No, chicken two 2024. I'm trying to love life despite all the all of my issues, you know. No, I never. I haven't been watching the Olympics because I don't have cable, so I just don't think about it. But I saw part of the opening. I don't know. For me, I'm not super into sports, but like, honestly, the Celine part's the only part that I needed to see. Like, okay, great. Just like the Super Bowl. Okay, great. That the queen herself has performed. I'm good. I, I, <laughs> I, I'm not really that interested. The Olympics. Um, what was with the opening? I saw part of it. Like, the first thing I saw was like somebody holding her head. Like, is that Mary Antoinette? I don't know. The ALRT. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of like, I'm friends with ALR, so I don't really like to gossip about her and her business. Um... I don't really know what to think, you know, like, I, I don't know. I saw, yeah, I don't really like to gossip about her business, but I mean, it's all over the internet. I hope she's okay. If you're watching Evelyn, I hope you're okay. Oh, they're best friends again until one of them says something that the other doesn't like, and then it's going to be World War Three all over again. It happens every single time, every single time with these two. It never fails. Um, I don't know. She seems overwhelmed. I watched her re video, her five-minute video about her breakup. Um, so I'm sorry to hear that, that she broke up. Um, oh, isn't that cute? Chantal actually believing, <laughs> actually believing Amber when it comes to face value. That's cute. My personal opinion, I feel like she can find somebody who will have her, you know, best interest at heart. Like, I feel like... I mean, Chantal, I wouldn't be preaching that to people um, until you do, because obviously Salah has a long way to go if that's the case. I feel like she can do better. No offense to that person. Like, I don't know. Just from what I'm hearing, like, I feel like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I'm really, really against feederism. I know, like, people accuse Salah of that, and it's so not. If you look at, like, what actual, the actual things that have come out versus, like, you know, 
you would see the difference. And I just, I don't know. I don't know. Like she's, I don't know. She's saying it's not true, whatever, but. Well, yeah, of course, feederism versus being someone with money and slash or wanting to get papers, completely two different fronts. There's pictures, so I don't really know what to say. You know what I mean? Like I like Amberlynn and I just wish her the best, but yeah, being, I didn't, I didn't know about the, that lady who passed away. Like she was like a thousand pounds. I think that if you're encouraging that kind of thing, it's really like, I don't know. It's so unhealthy. I don't know. Are they having like a sale on audacity or something? Cause like, ma'am, do you know how stupid you sound right now? <laughs> yeah, it's really unhealthy. Yes, it is. Thank you for finally <laughs> seeing that. I don't know. Like it might seem hypocritical coming from me, but like, I don't like want to gain weight. You know what I mean? Like if you see me eat something crappy, it's I'm just trying to be like realistic and, and try to balance. Like, I don't know. I don't know if Amberlynn would be into that, but her and I like share in common that we both have eat, like eating disorders and issues with food. Like we're like severely obsessed with food, addicted to food. And it wouldn't probably be hard for somebody to try to manipulate that idea like into our brains where it's like, do you know what I mean? Like it's like whenever you have a, an issue with food, your brain is already like playing tricks on you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So it, I don't know. When I saw like the, the, the thousand pound lady who passed away, it was kind of like, it made me feel worried for her, like really worried for her, you know? But you know, for anybody else to do that to you, oh my God, how dare you instantly blocked. So, because I care about her, like, you know, so I felt worried for her and I feel like it might hurt now, but you could probably do a lot better with somebody who actually like has your best interest at heart. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. But, uh, I don't know. I mean, I had Burger King yesterday, but see, that's like, that's not a, that's not a binge though. That's just like a Burger King meal. You know what I mean? I guess I kind of like binged out on pickles because like the whole little mini jar is gone. I love pickles. Oh my gosh. So Salah and I watched the stupidest movie. And skipping forward. Like, I don't like being morbidly obese. And I mean, I still am positive and love my life and appreciate everything I have. But like, I don't eat healthy all the time because I'm just like struggling. Like, I mean, wouldn't that also insinuate that you actually do eat healthy the majority of the time then? I don't think that's the case at all. To be honest, I'm struggling between like, do I fully restrict or do I allow myself? And like, I don't know, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to figure things out. But see, like, that's the thing, Carolina, like I find it hard for me. Like right now I'm focusing on just not binge eating because that's where like, it's dangerous. Like eating those thousands of calories at once. Like, should I allow myself a fast food meal or like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, should I, they say not to super restrict when you have like binge eating issues. So it's like, I'm trying to like find the right way to deal with it and balance it. Like my old, ther my last therapist that I had, no, the one before last, I've had a few was into like intuitive eating and not like depriving yourself and not feeling guilty about food and stuff like that. And, but like, there's so much contradicting and then, but then like the one doctor I went to for weight loss in Canada, they want to be on like a friggin 1400 calorie diet, no carbs. So it's like, there's always conflicting information for like every different medical professional you go and see. But the thing is you need to actually want to do it to begin with, because you can have one doctor say one thing, a therapist say another thing. Like me telling you to go, I don't know, juggle balloons while you um, do the can-can. Like it doesn't matter if you're not willing to do it. Well, it's just gonna be pointless. So I'm just kind of left with myself to kind of take a mixture of all the advice. And that's what I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, guys, honestly, she's just trying really hard to find a middle ground out of every every medical professional ever. Burger King in the jar of pickles is just like her medium. That That is her way. That is her way or the highway. How dare you say anything about it? I, like, I want to be realistic and, and not just diet and go hard and diet and lose weight because a lot of people lose weight, succeed at losing weight, but it's the maintenance, it's the keeping it off. People regain it. And there's like, I think the percentage of people who keep the weight off is so low that it's like really discouraging. I have diabetes and I eat fast food more than I like to admit. Yeah. I recently lost 23 pounds and I'm not restricted, but also don't go overboard. Yeah. And like, I'm down from 166 to like 152. So like, you know, I think just not binge eating has helped, but I think to go lower than that, I have to like... I still overeat a lot. <sighs> I do try. It's like really hard. I don't know. Where is the food and the groceries? Are they coming or what, babe? But don't you guys forget, she's really trying. Maybe it's taking, maybe they're making it really fresh. Actually, I'm ordering from a really good restaurant. Some movies are not for dumb people. <laughs> well, I guess I'm dumb. I don't know. That movie to me was just so bad. I don't know. I didn't like it. I mean, like I get the concept. I just, I don't know. Or maybe I don't. Maybe that's why I don't like it. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't want to go like super restrictive and be able to do it for a certain amount of time. And then just one day, just like gain it all back. So I'm trying to, I don't know. And I, I don't, I don't eat properly. Like I don't have a routine or a schedule. That's number one, my biggest reason for failure. Like I don't meal plan. I don't plan, you know, like I wouldn't be starving right now if I was up like a normal time eating breakfast, lunch and stuff like that, you know, 
And so I know what I have to do, but it's just the doing it that's really hard. <laughs> Don't let yourself get over hungry. Yeah, like I am now. Where's my friggin' chicken 65? How many delivery drivers have you kept employed for the year? I'm doing good deed, Luna. What did I get for groceries? Yeah, just snacks and things. Yeah, whatever, Passion Tim. You know what? You can't compete with this. <laughs> Tim Burton and Helena Bonham Carter live in separate houses. I mean, maybe it's the secret to a long-lasting marriage, you know? My husband has his own room and I have mine. There you go. Your own space. Like, being together 24-7 like this, like, you would end up, you'll end up killing each other. <laughs> no matter how much you love the person. No matter how much in love you are. Please, come on. Like... I can't even stand being around my own mother that long or like anybody I love that long. I like being alone sometimes too, so I get it. But also you live together with your man though, right? Yeah, no, we don't sleep apart from each other, but yeah, like when we got the new bed, we had to put the old bed somewhere and that's what the spare room is. It's just like a melange of old furniture that we're not sure what to do with. Are you drinking water, water? Oh, your crunchies are low. That's why she likes me, isn't it? That's why, isn't it? What I'm wearing looks weird because I'm wearing like a dress thing. <laughs> I think we're getting another couch bounce moment. <laughs> See? <laughs> I sure have a buddy. No, but you honestly can't recreate it. You have to be in the mood. Chantal giggling and stuff. Like, you know, she has to be in the mood, mad, and just ready to get some of that anger out. I was so energetic, right, babe? I did all the housework. I, you know, did my two videos. I did everything, like, no problem. I still had energy and had trouble sleeping. Now today, I don't want to cook. I don't want to clean. I don't want to do anything. I hate it. Listen, you know if you guys don't like each other, you can block each other. You'll never see your comments again. I always do that. <laughs> I block people I don't like to see their comments if I'm watching a stream. So I need a consistent way, like, form of somewhere I can message people. Uh, thanks for the super chat, but I don't understand. <laughs> because I changed my mind. So, like... I was upset one minute and then I cooled off, um, did some thinking. Too bad I didn't do that before I bought the ticket because, you know, yeah, money, but that's that's how I am. I feel like people misunderstand me a lot, you know, so I try to like explain, but there's no point because people, the people who like misunderstand me just don't want to understand me. They don't care. Oh no, here's the thing. We hear ya. It just doesn't make any sense half the damn time. I hear him talking on the phone. So he's giving directions how to get here. I'm going to get to eat. Okay, let's set up the table. Ugh, where's the groceries? Ah, oh, chicken 65. I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna save you some, baby, because it's too big. Just the amount of fish eye that's in this shot alone is so funny to me. Like, look at her face versus like everything else. Like, ma'am, come on. Whoa! <laughs> ma'am, it's chicken. It looks like really good chicken. But it's just chicken. Calm down. I cannot eat all this. Bae, can I bring you half? I know you don't like the veggies. You don't want to eat right now, babe? For sure? Because I can bring it to you. Or you want me to put it aside? Babe, did you find anything out about the groceries or no? Sorry, I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten in, I swear, in hours and hours and hours. Oh god, in that case, don't turn sideways. We might lose ya. Sorry, it tastes like Chinese takeout mixed with Arabic food. Okay, guys. Yalla! Yalla, 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 yalla! <laughs> Let me keep the receipt. Okay. Now. Where you go? <laughs> yeah, I've been skipping around. The, the groceries came and, like, the true love of her life is finally in her home. Food. Well, more food. We have some snacks, but I'm just gonna have one. I have some snacks, like honestly having a snack a night helps me from overdoing it, you know? So they had a sale, these little bags of chips. Look at how small they are. Now, are we talking like average person small or Chantal level small? You could eat about 10. Oh, this is ketchup flavor. We have some baby bells. Those are my favorite. I'm actually really full right now. I ate the whole thing, I was so hungry. Look at this, honey day. We have more cheese slices. Okay, we have some fairy. They had, they had a special offer on the, this is the best dish soap here. Really works well. When I need more 
fairy because I'm on my last bit of stuff. Vermicelli to put in rice. I like making my homemade rice aroni. We have some macaroni, Salah's favorite. Oh, of course it's his favorite. And on top of that, just great choices we're making so far. God help us all. Honestly, he'll probably want, you'll probably want macaroni later. I know you, babe. <laughs> and I know this is gonna be controversial, but I got <laughs> this is the brownie mix. Oh, for the love of God, girl. Okay, that's a personal choice. If you want to do that, girl, go for it. I mean, I'm not gonna be here to stop you, but just I hope a toe or an eye or something's worth it. Don't wish that on you, but just being realistic. But guys, like, I limit myself, like, you know. Shh, shh, quit trying to justify it to us. It's not our body. Whatever I've been eating, like, my blood sugars are not, they're, they're okay. Like, I don't know. So, in the future, I'll try to cut back on stuff. Okay, I got something that's kind of bad. I want to try. Oh, you know, the brownie's completely fine, but, like, the sun kiss, oh, it might be a little bit bad, guy. God help me. This, I got a couple of sun kissed strawberry lemonades, one for me, one for Salah. <clears throat> they were expensive. That's why I got two. These are not for me. Well, of course. And I'm a professional clown car driver. I might have one cup. Now, whether she means, like, one actual individual cup or, like, an entire, like, U.S.-based cup, well, I mean, she didn't specify. How are we supposed to know? I got two packs. These snacks are supposed to last, so hopefully they last. Well, if you have to specify, well, I really hope that they last. No, they're not going to last. And, uh, Big Cheese. The Big Cheese! <laughs> I love that name. I got two packs of Jolly Time. Do you guys have this in the States? The big cheese popcorn. So like cheddar popcorn for like movie nights. I hear something in a jar. Oh, I got three jars of pasta sauce. So I got three jars of pasta sauce. It's just good to have pasta sauce on hand. And I'm extra lazy. I got beef meatballs. These beef meatballs are actually really good. So, ew, they smell like garlic. Yes, of course I care. Of course I care. I'm just trying to be like realistic, you know? Oh my gosh. Oh, they're so ripe. They're so ripe. Mangoes. Well, guys, don't worry. Everything is just completely fine. <laughs> Chantal got some mangoes. You know, with diabetes and everything, at least it's fresh. But, like, at the same time, if that's the best that we got, Lord help us. I know they're sugary, but I haven't had mangoes in forever. with them. And we got 250 grams of turkey. We got mixed Pickles, Lebanese pickles. Oh yes, wonderful idea right after you just ate an entire jar overnight. Great job. And I have all this butter cost 800 fills. Babe, how much is this? Like three bucks, two bucks, American? Okay, and last but not least, my favorite. I love this so much. I got two bags of Brussels sprouts. Oh my gosh, guys, we got cheese, we got brownies, we got mangoes, but just like the best thing overall, we've got, <laughs> we've got noodles, we've got everything that I'm not supposed to have, but my favorite thing, drum roll. Brussels sprouts, girl, shut up. This is a good snack. I love it in the air fryer. <gasps> yes. So all of this cost 17 KD, 505 fills. Sometimes delivery is free, but today we had to pay one KD delivery. So the chicken 65 tasted like um, sweet and sour, spicy Chinese chicken, but the rice was capsa rice, so it was Arabic. The fudge brownies are calling my name. Oh, I'll just try to have one a day. That's what I did last time. I just had one a day and I only had two out of the batch because Salah loves them. So I like to give him most of it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to challenge myself. What time is it? 1.25? I'm not going to eat anything else for the rest of the night. Now, we all know, no matter what she had or whatever she ordered, this is Chantal at this very moment. Like, we all, we all understand that, right? Okay, thought so. I'll probably drink things, but not uh, so, like, I'm going to finish this with. Reese cheesecake must be good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. See, why can't it be the opposite? Why can't Reese's cheesecake be health healthy? Because then, you know what? We would probably just eat and eat and eat and eat it without any guilt. Or, you know, you could just be Amber or Chantal and just do it anyways. Sure, why not? I see the reasoning now. See? God is smart. Maybe we should seal. Okay, babe. I'm going to seal for... Let, let's seal for about uh, 15, 20 minutes. And then I'm going to get off for now, but I might come back later. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, sorry for the angle. Let's seal for 15 minutes and then I'll get off and... come. Maybe come back. <laughs> maybe Salah will want a camel bees this morning. Camel bees, Charles Reed, and beach bees. I don't know. 
Remember, babe, when you, whenever you came in to the room the other day? And, uh, well, it's happened a few times. I'll walk in the room, and I'll be laying like a seal, and Julia will be laying like a seal beside me. Like my two favorite seals. If my man ever commented, oh, that's my favorite seal, I would raise hell. Absolutely not. No. He, I could, no. Uh uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll be back. Bye. All right, so that was painful to say the least, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.